Hello! Hey! Hey y'all! This is Whitney Nicely. Uh, today is the first day of my 40-day Facebook Live challenge. And today we're talking about how to build a portfolio that will allow you to retire by 55. Now, I did a survey a couple weeks ago and people told me, two people actually on my survey of 25 people, told me that they wanted to learn how to build a real estate portfolio that would allow them to retire by the time they turn 55. So I didn't just make up 55. Personally, I want to retire by the time I'm 35. And when I say retire, I mean, I mean, come on, if you love what you do, you don't ever have to really retire, do you? I mean, I could call myself retired right now and that would be fine. So, um, how about we say how to build a portfolio that'll allow you to retire whenever you're ready. Maybe if you work really hard at it, you can retire next year. Maybe you'll retire in three years. Um, I don't know if you're 25 and you're watching this, maybe you want to retire when you're 30. If you're 45, maybe you do want to retire by the time you're 55. But it doesn't matter when you decide you want to retire. It just matters that you're working towards it. You're actively working towards it. Um, I'm not talking about manifesting it. I'm not talking about hoping and dreaming and praying. I'm talking about actually buying houses that will allow you to get the cash flow that you need so that you can retire whenever you're ready. Or so that you can retire richer whenever you're ready. Or so you can re-retire with more money. All right? Whatever it is, however you want to say it, that's the plan here. So let me tell you that two weeks ago, I bought a house, an $80,000 house in Talbot, Tennessee. And I gave the sellers $480 for it. All right? Does anybody out there have $480? Would you like to use that $480 to buy houses? Because I gave my seller $480, which is what their monthly payment was. I gave them April's monthly payment. I've already made May's monthly payment. And I'm going to go in and clean up this house and I'm going to sell it. I'm gonna, I've got a lease option on it for five years. I could do a regular rental on this house. And I could rent this house for $800 to $850 a month. So even if I didn't do a sandwich lease option, even if I just bought this house for $480 and then I rented it out for, let's say, $800, I'd be making, what, $320 every single month? So let's say if I knew how to buy houses and take over somebody's payment on a lease option, and I found somebody that had a, let's say $500 a month payment, and I had $500, I could give them $500, I could sign the contract, I could sign the paperwork, and I could be in charge of that house for 500 bucks. Then I'll spend another maybe $1,000 cleaning it up, sprucing it up, hauling the trash off, and I'll rent it for $800. So in this case, if it takes $500 to buy a house, in your checking account right now, how many houses could you buy if you knew how to do lease options and if you knew how to find these sellers? I'd imagine you'd be able to buy one or two houses. Maybe you've got twenty or thirty thousand dollars in your bank right now, so you could buy what is that like forty houses if you were buying houses for five hundred bucks? And if you were buying houses for five hundred dollars and you could rent them out for eight hundred dollars, even if you didn't get an option fee, you would be creating an extra three hundred dollars a month coming into your checking account. Right? So if you did one of those deals a month, that's 3000 that's $3,600 by the end of the year. You'd have 12 houses if you did one a month. You'd be bringing in $300 per 12 houses. That's $3,600 every single month if you only did one little dinky deal. 
at $300 a month on each house. If you wanted to stretch it, and let's say you found a house that you could pay $500 a month, and you could rent it for $1,000 a month, so you made $500 a month. By the time you do one of those deals every month for a year, now you're bringing in $6,000 a month. If you do that for two years, you're bringing in $12,000 a month. So you're going to get your money back the first month somebody moves in. You're going to be paying down what you owe the seller. Maybe, even if you do regular rentals on these, you're still going to be paying this down there's a chance, depending on what you bought it for, that you could pay the house off and be free and clear in a house that you have no money in because you got your money back in the first month or two when somebody paid their rent. I would like for you to do a lease option in the beginning and then do a lease option in the end so you do a sandwich lease option. That way when somebody moves in, they give you ten or fifteen or twenty thousand dollars to move into your house. And maybe they buy it from you. Maybe you make $20,000 between the price you bought it at and the price they bought it at. But regardless, if you can learn how to buy houses for $500, or if you can figure out how to buy houses for no money, say I told these people I wouldn't make their payment for three months because I got to go in and fix it. That means I have three months that I don't owe a payment to these people. And if I go in and I do a real good job and I clean it and I flip it real fast and I get somebody in in the second month, that means I'm going to get two months of rent when I don't owe a mortgage payment. That's extra money coming in. So if you're two years away from being 55 and your goal is to retire when you're 55, all you need to do is buy one house a month and create a $500 a month spread between what you owe in a mortgage, what you owe your seller, what your lease option payment is, and what your either renter or your tenant or your tenant buyer will pay. Because if your payment is $500 and they're going to pay you $1,000, that's $500 that's going to come into your account every month. If you do one of those deals a month, that's $6,000 by the end of the year. And if you do that for two years, that's $12,000 coming into your account every single month by just working a little bit, by just, you know, talking to a couple sellers, buying one house a month. If you can create a $500 a month spread, $12,000 in two years, every single month. Now, when we talk about retirement, if you have a 401k or an IRA, that's dead money. Because if you pull ten dollars or $12,000 out of that account every single month, that means your account goes from $100,000 to $90,000 to $80,000. And if you have $100,000 in your savings account or your retirement account or your IRA or your 401k or, you know, whatever, and you pull out $10,000 at a time, you're only going to be retired for a year. But if I can teach you how to bring in ten dollars and $12,000 a month, every month, then when you spend $10,000, Another 10000 comes in at the first of next month. You spend it again, it comes back. It keeps flowing, all right? It's like a river at this point. It flows. It goes up, it goes down. It goes up, it goes down. But if you're just living off of retirement, it's always coming down. Unless you go back to work or you get a good inheritance, it's going to disappear. And if your money disappears before you do, you're in a bad spot. You have to create monthly money coming in. Whether you use that money for your side hustle, whether you use that money uh, to you know, fund your kid's college, whatever you use that ten or $12,000 a month, that's fine. That's your money. 
you can double down on your payments and maybe pay some of your houses off free and clear. Then you don't even have that pesky little $500 a month payment on all these houses. Now you're getting $1,000 a month on, what, 24 houses? That's $24,000 a month. The math is simple, guys. And if you're only trying to do one deal a month, you ought to be able to do that in 10 or 15 hours a week. So instead of watching Mad Men, go out and talk to sellers. Instead of sitting at the kids' ball practice and, you know, reading a people magazine, call your sellers. Set up appointments. Make the best of your time so that you can retire whenever you're ready to. Lease options are fun. You don't need a bank. You don't need credit. You don't need much money. If you can get the deal with three months before you make your first payment, you need no money. I've done deals before where I had six months before the first payment was due. That's a lot of time. That's a lot of money you can be making. So, if you have any questions, I teach people how to do lease options. I teach people how to get their financial freedom. I teach people how to do real estate, put the fun back in it, put the real back in it, and put the money back in real estate. What is it, like 90% of millionaires made their money through real estate? What are you waiting on? Go to WhitneyNicely.com and either book a call to talk to me to see how you can get started. Today we started May's group coaching session, but you're not behind. You haven't missed anything yet. There's a replay available for the people in my group. Or, you know, let me know what you want to do. But let's get you started. Let's get you into retirement. Let's start creating those ten and twelve and $20,000 months. It's totally possible. And you can do it. I'll be glad to help you. WhitneyNicely.com. And I'll be back tomorrow for another live. It'll be the second day of my live challenge. And tomorrow we're talking about how I bought my first piece of vacant land, which is a wonderful story. I absolutely love it. And I may go over to my first piece of vacant land to do my live video. Bye, y'all. Let me know if you have any questions. Either send me a message or go to WhitneyNicely.com. And let me know that we need to talk. Book a call or just figure out another way to get started with me. I'd love to help you start making that money so you can retire when you're 55 or before. Bye, y'all.